name's Kurt. Hi, there are a lot of people here. <laughs> uh, I'm really humbled and excited to be here and inspired by all of you. It's this type of uh, sharing of ideas that is really going to make a difference in the future. Um, like Kurt said, I went to USC. I'm from Los Angeles. A lot of speakers have talked about social entrepreneurship tonight. If you would have told me or asked me about social entrepreneurship three years ago, I would have said social what? I had no idea. I'm from LA. I've worked in media and entertainment for years. Um, I'm a Hollywood guy, and that's what I always thought I would be. But rewind a couple years ago, and the financial institutions in our country were crumbling. And there, were, there was fraudulence and greed, and Bernie Madoff was going to jail, and Martha Stewart was going to jail. And it just seemed like business could be done a lot better. It wasn't working. And so I started talking with my now current partners about what our vision of business was. At the same time, we saw the internet was taking off, social media taking off, Generation Y, and even younger people are experiencing social media as the only thing that they know in their lives. And the exchange of ideas was very, very exciting. And we thought, you know, maybe there is a better way to do business. Meanwhile, hundreds of companies started incorporating models of responsibility into their everyday business models. And we saw this and we we're like, you know what? Why don't we support the businesses that are doing the good things? So we started working on a business. And two months ago, it launched. It's called Bruce.com. And it's a daily deal platform, like Groupon and Living Social, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, that's exclusively for responsible companies. So companies that use eco-friendly material, uh, give money to charity, do community efforts. And we, in a couple months, have 10,000 members. And we're selling out all of our deals. And the reason I tell you that is because what we are experiencing right now is a paradigm shift in the experience between the business and the consumer. There is a growing demand from consumers everywhere for responsible shopping. And Roost is just a product of this paradigm shift. You know, a recent poll showed that 79% of all people and 90% of Generation Y would shift from one brand to another if, the, if that new brand was associated with a good cause. It's social responsibility. It's not a tree hugger thing anymore. It's not just for liberals. It's mainstream. And what we're seeing is that companies, big and small, are picking up on it. They're realizing that there's value in being labeled socially responsible. So we see companies like Tom's Shoes and Feel Goods, which is owned by Kyle Berner, who's going to speak in a second. Companies that are out there that have incorporated levels of responsibility into what they are doing. And so the idea of Roost is that we should incentivize these companies. Um, you see large companies like Pepsi and Disney and the NBA and huge corporations that are realizing the value of being responsible and going forward with cause marketing campaigns. All of this is a lot, it, it, it's come to fruition because of the internet. It's the vehicle for social entrepreneurship. As we can exchange ideas and we as the consumer become empowered, we not only have information about prices and how good services and products are, but we also now know what companies do and don't do. And that allows us to support who we want to support. If I can leave you with anything is this, is that we are experiencing a social entrepreneurship renaissance. The consumer right now has never had as much power as he's had ever. And this idea that business is not just about maximizing shareholder profits, it's doing something for the community in order to maximize shareholder profits. That used to be a radical idea. Now it's not just an accepted idea, it's an expected idea.